Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research, and this is your morning market alert for Thursday, August 4th. Stocks on Wall Street may resume their downward momentum after the Dow Industrial snapped an eight-session losing streak yesterday. Some largely upbeat corporate results helped offset more disappointing economic data, this time from the service sector and factories. Investors' focus may turn back to the economy today as they digest the weekly report on initial jobless claims. That comes ahead of tomorrow's big government employment report. It's expected to show stronger growth than the anemic 18,000 jobs created in June. The Eurozone economy is also back in the spotlight this morning, after the ECB decided to hold its key interest rate steady at 1.5%. Right now, ECB President Jean-Claude Trichet is answering questions about the central bank's monetary policy and stance on interest rates going forward. I'll bring you any news from his monthly news conference after the opening bell. Earlier this morning, the Bank of England also kept its rates steady at a record low, as expected. Following those decisions, both the euro and the British pound are sinking against the U.S. dollar. But the biggest move in the currency markets is coming from the yen. It's plunging after Tokyo followed Switzerland's lead and acted to devalue its currency. The Bank of Japan also announced that it's adding to its asset purchases to further weaken the yen. The Swiss franc also continues to decline today after the Swiss National Bank's own round of quantitative easing yesterday. On the corporate front, two blue chips are out with quarterly results, and both are surging ahead of the bell. Kraft Foods is jumping 7% after saying that it will break up into two publicly traded companies. One firm will house Kraft's global snacks brands, while the other focuses on its North American grocery business, including beverages and cheese. Kraft also posted better-than-expected earnings growth and raised its forecast for the full year. Meanwhile, General Motors said its second quarter profit more than doubled to $2.5 billion. Revenue also rose, driven by demand for its fuel economy models. Both numbers topped estimates, and GM shares are gaining nearly 2% on the news. We also heard from CVS Caremark this morning. The biggest U.S. drugstore chain said its net income declined because of lower prices on its pharmacy products. Shares of CVS are set to open lower. But perhaps the day's biggest stock decliner is Dendrion, losing more than 60% of its value right now. The company warned of a more gradual adoption of its prostate cancer treatment and withdrew its revenue forecast for the year. Dendrion also said it expects to cut costs through workforce reductions. That's the latest from Weiss Research. I'll be back after the opening bell with all the market-moving news, including that jobless claims report and the latest data on retail sales. 